Paving is now complete on the Nine Mile Brooks Lake section of US 26 to 87 west of Dubois and the Five Mile Buffalo Fork section east of Grand Teton National Park. After final chip seals are applied when the weather gets warm enough next year, the sections will be the first completed in a series of projects to rebuild 38 miles of the highway. A national organization has given the project its President's Transportation Award for Quality in recognition of YDOT's efforts to build a safe highway while minimizing impacts on wildlife, the environment, communities, and travelers. I think overall, you know, everybody's pretty happy with the project. Everybody realizes that when this, how much better the situation is going to be up there with the highway once we finish these projects. The rebuilt highway will have many safety improvements. We're going back with 12 foot lanes and 8 foot shoulders on each side. We're also adding a bunch of passing lanes through the whole project and then we're adding turn lanes in to the major turnouts. Next year, work is expected to begin on a 16 mile section in the middle of the corridor. The final section of work is scheduled to begin in 2010. And the last section will be the Rosie's Ridge section and that's probably the roughest section just due to the large amount of landslides and stuff that are involved in that section. The high elevation of the highway means the construction season there is about three months shorter than in most of the state, but so far the project is progressing on schedule. Reminding you to drive safe and always buckle up, this is Doug McGee reporting.